Hello to all investors, great to see you. In today's video, we will do the top 30 quotes from one of the great bear of Wall Street, the late Mr. Jesse Livermore. If we miss any quote you like we do apologize and please share it with us in the comment below. Thank you. We will take a quick moment to introduce Mr. Jesse Livermore for those that don't know him. He is considered one of the best speculators of all time, making his first big bet in 1901 at the age of 24 with $10,000, and that bet turned into $500,000. In today's money that $500,000 are equivalent to $15 million. In the panic of 1907, it is recorded that he made a million dollars on a single day with his short bet against the stock market during this time. This is how he got his name as the Great Bear of Wall Street. With all due respect and no further delay let us dive into his top quotes. 1. Prices are never too high to begin buying or too low to begin selling. 2. I did exactly the wrong thing. The cotton showed me a loss and I kept it. The wheat showed me a profit and I sold it out. Of all the speculative blunders there are few greater than trying to average a losing game. Always sell what shows you a loss and keep what shows you a profit. 3. I noticed that in advances as well as declines, stock prices were apt to show certain habits, so to speak. 4. I learned early that there is nothing new in Wall Street. There can't be because speculation is as old as the hills. Whatever happens in the stock market today has happened before and will happen again. I've never forgotten that. 5. I had a hard time convincing her, my mother that I was not gambling, but making money by figuring. 6. I knew something was wrong somewhere, but I couldn't spot it exactly. But if something was coming and I didn't know where from, I couldn't be on my guard against it. That being the case I'd better be out of the market. 7. I always made money when I was sure I was right before I began. 8. I didn't always win. My plan of trading was sound enough and won oftener than it lost. If I had stuck to it I'd have been right perhaps as often as 7 out of 10 times. 9. What beat me was not having brains enough to stick to my own game, that is, to play the market only when I was satisfied that precedents favored my play. 10. No many can always have adequate reasons for buying and selling stocks daily, or sufficient knowledge to make his play an intelligent play. Before we move to quote 11. Please if you like what you see so far may you kindly click like and subscribe. This will really help us a lot and we truly owe it all to you. Thank you. 11. The desire for constant action irrespective of underlying conditions is responsible for many losses in Wall Street even among the professionals, who feel that they must take home some money every day, as though they were working for regular wages. 12. A stock operator has to fight a lot of expensive enemies within himself. 13. A man must believe in himself and his judgment if he expects to make a living at this game. That is why I don't believe in tips. 14. They say there are two sides to everything. But there is only one side to the stock market, and it is not the bull side or the bear side, but the right side. It took me longer to get that general principle fixed firmly in my mind than it did most of the more technical phases of the game of stock speculation. 15. It took me five years to learn to play the game intelligently enough to make big money when I was right. 16. With me I must back my opinions with money. My losses have taught me that I must not begin to advance until I am sure I shall not have to retreat. But if I cannot advance I do not move at all. I do not mean by this that a man should not limit his losses when he is wrong. He should. But that should not breed indecision. 17. The game taught me the game. And it didn't spare the rod while teaching. 18. All my life I have made mistakes. But in losing money, I have gained experience and accumulated a lot of valuable don'ts. I have been flat broke several times, but my loss has never been a total loss. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here now. I always knew I would have another chance and that I would not make the same mistake a second time. I believed in myself. 19. If I hadn't made money some of the time I might have acquired market wisdom quicker. 20. If somebody had told me my method would not work I nevertheless would have tried it out to make sure for myself, for when I am wrong only one thing convinces me of it, and that is to lose money. And I am only right when I make money. That is speculating. 
Just a quick friendly reminder from payingforward.net if you do well in life, or when you do well in life seek ways to pay it forward to others that are less fortunate than us. Thank you. 21. In a bull market your game is to buy and hold until you believe that the bull market is near its end. To do this you must study general conditions, and not tips or special factors affecting individual stocks. Then get out of all your stocks, get out for keeps. 22. Since suckers always lose money when they gamble in stocks, they never really speculate. 23. For a customer to lose money at his brokers is no rare event. 24. When you know what not to do in order not to lose money, you begin to learn what to do in order to win. You begin to learn. 25. Without faith in his own judgment no man can go very far in this game. 26. I can see now that my main trouble was my failure to grasp the vital difference between stock gambling and stock speculation. 27. I never thought that anything was irksome if it helped me to trade more intelligently. 28. Before I can solve a problem I must state it to myself. When I think I have found the solution I must prove that I am right. I know of only one way to prove this, and that is, with my own money. 29. There was as much to learn from partial victory as from defeat. 30. They say you never grow poor taking profits. No, you don't. But neither do you grow rich taking a four-point profit in a bull market. If you like to have access to free intrinsic value calculators please visit our site at valuesnip.com for free intrinsic value calculators. Thank you for making it this far we throw in three important bonus quote here just for you. 31. I never want to buy stocks too cheap or too easily. 32. He has to sell when he can, not when he wants to. 33. If a man didn't make mistakes, he'd own the world in a month. But if he didn't profit by his mistakes he wouldn't own a blessed thing. Thank you so much for your time.